So the big reveal is we finally got some sample merchandise in. The graphics look pretty good. Everything feels great. Uh, it's nice and soft. So if you want to get one of your own, uh, I'll put the uh, URL up here so you can go to the website and purchase one. So I got a special treat this week. Uh, another creator in the field, uh, Vince Buscemi. Did I say that right? You did, Buscemi, yeah. Yeah, uh, Siri says something like Vince Buscemi. <laughs> I've heard uh, so many like d distorted versions of my last name my yeah. entire life. View like beautiful, semi like semicolon. And you're not related mm -hmm. to the actor. I am not, no. No, I don't have the crazy eyes like uh, Steve does. <laughs> Everyone asks though, I mean, it's it's not a common name, so. It's it's possible our families are from the same town in Sicily, Calabasetta. I met you, gosh, I think it's been eight years ago. I just showed up on a, on a Wednesday rehearsal night and I said, hey, I'm a drummer. Uh, got an opening for me, you know, and then, you know, can I play? And then you say, well, we've got a lot of drummers, but sure, go ahead. And we were playing this song that all of a sudden you stopped. I don't know if you remember this or not. I've told this a couple of times, but <laughs> you stopped in the middle of it and you went, God, I wish we had a harmonica guy. This song is screaming harmonica. And I'm in the back going, it, what, what, what's, the, oh my God, look at that. I just happened to have a harmonica. No. Do you remember what I said? I was like, Oh, harmonica. You mean like campfire harmonica? <laughs> That's right. You want to give them a little flavor of what campfire harmonica is? <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't want that at all. <laughs> Nothing like that, yeah. So you told me to bring them on Sunday morning and we'll give it a try. Right. And so I did. We started playing and I don't even know what song it was, but I did something. And you were like, you're in. <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> you're the harp guy, uh, you're not the drummer, you're gonna start playing harmonica. And so I did. So yeah, you you inspired me to to actually like break back into studying the harmonica and studying, uh, you know, being a musician in a band again and having so many different musicians and instrumentalists, like how does it fit in? I mean, I'm not trying to stick out all the time and I'm trying to replicate different sounds for different songs. And, and I think, you know, you and this congregation really helped me, um, you know, discover my sound and who I am as a harmonica player. In fourth grade, uh, everyone was supposed to pick an instrument and play, and my parents said, no, you're not gonna play an instrument. And so I was in recorder class, I think it was chorus, and I'm playing the recorder, and the teacher said, you need to be in the band. Uh, you've got a gift, you've got a skill, you've got a talent, you have to be in that band. And so uh, she contacted my parents, contacted the band director, who then contacted my parents, and uh, got me to play an instrument. All of the instruments that I wanted were taken, so I ended up with the clarinet, but I really enjoyed that. Um, and being in a band really, I think, helped me understand just what being a musician in a larger organization is all about. Um, so I went through middle school and, uh, and high school playing the clarinet, and I got into high school and I started to get into the drum line. So I had some um, influencers there with some friends who are still really good friends of mine uh, here in, in Westminster and, uh, and, and in Baltimore County. Um, and then after that, I'm in college and I'm working at the local mall while I'm in college. And the owner of an eyeglass store that I was working at carried a harmonica around with him in his pocket all the time. And whenever a customer was uh, undecided on buying a set of glasses, he would break out that harmonica and just be like <laughs> And all of a sudden the whole place lit up and everyone, the, the mood changed, and everyone was in a buying mood all of a sudden. And uh, I thought, man, that's so cool. Like, I'm a musician, I wonder if I can do that. And so I uh, asked him what he did, and he was like, I just carry this around, I mess around in a car, and, and that's pretty much it. 
And uh, that's that's what I started to do early on for me. For, for the harmonica, I didn't want to just fit into one genre of being like a blues artist or, or just playing blues music or, or country music. I loved the idea that a harmonica could could fill any music sound from, from recorded music. How can I keep people that are, have seen me before enjoying the same song that they've heard in a different way? Uh, let's see if you can recognize this. that that was um, Centerfold uh, by Jay Giles Band. So that is not a harmonica part, that's a little bit of a you know guitar organ uh, riff, but we figured it out um, for me. Um, another one that you uh, probably have heard many, many times on the radio, it's kind of a dance rap number. Um, so it's... Um that's Timber by Pitbull and Kesha. <laughs> Maybe you might be interested in a harmonica and have no idea where to start. Uh, that's where I was uh, back in the 90s and really I just went to the local music st uh, store. What you want to pay attention to is each harmonica has a different key. So these are diatonic harmonicas which means that they are only in a specific key. I, I wasn't in the right key all the time but I was getting familiar and comfortable with the harmonica and I was finding my sound and what I wanted it to be. And so for you I would I would uh, you know suggest that you do the same. Pick up a harmonica, a C harmonica is a fantastic key to get. So I play this special 20. Once you find the pucker to do just play one note and you're drawing in, you can start bending the harmonica by uh, drawing in. It's kind of hard to describe, but I'm changing the position of my tongue and my palate to force the air in a different way. And that's creating this wave effect. So. So you can start to play around with that and explore some different techniques. Um, and again, just you know, find something on the radio and just kind of try to play along with it. If it's got a, a guitar riff to it, like a big power solo, try to play a solo on top of it and, and, and start to explore what that guitarist is doing with their solo and then kind of mimic it on the harmonica. That's what I do all the time when we're gigging. And, um, and so that's a great way to start. So Vince, I want to thank you for coming out to the channel and uh, sharing your talents with everybody, encouraging them, helping them figure out how they can get started uh, if they want to become a harmonica player. Uh, but as always, they can they can step out on a stage of their own choosing. So that's right. Let's give them a little jam session. Let's do it. Two, three, four. So good. Everybody remember, in order to elevate each other, we're going to participate, create, educate, and escape. See you next time. Thank you for making it this far. We hope you subscribe and like all the content that inspires you.